<laughs> happy, happy, happy new year. Welcome, welcome to a brand new episode of Unleashed. It is 2020. Can you believe it? Oh my, oh my God. God. So before I start to talk about 2020, let me just introduce my guests um, today. Mm-hmm. I have um, Sean Harvey, I remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Lyndon Dawes. <laughs> In his wig and everything, <laughs> right? There you go. <laughs> there you go. And author Denise Green. <laughs> so you know that the show not going to be normal today any at all. Lyndon is insisting on wearing his wig. So before I get started, guys, I want Hold to... Hold on. My name people think is my wig. <laughs> Somebody wore the wig. And it's right just now. on your head. Right. Awesome sauce. Okay. 2020. I'm not sure. What do you guys <laughs> see happening for 2020? What do you want to see happen? Money. Today? Lots of money. Lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Let's jump yeah. right in. <laughs> what else? Yeah. For you? I, I, for me, it's just to, to, to expand. That's it. To expand. Definitely. To expand your business. Yeah. Okay. And for you? And Same to move thing. Back financial, to Jamaica, financial freedom. To move back to Jamaica. Hopefully. Okay. All right. Emotional in, and financial freedom. Just emotional. overall happiness. Mm, Lord yes. have mercy. Okay. I think I think I pretty much have the happiness part though. Bless the Lord. It took me it took me a little while to get here, but I am I'm firmly in that space. And the good thing about the happiness that I'm currently feeling, it's not it's not as a result of anything. It's not dependent on money, it's not dependent on money, it's not dependent on the people. It's that it's just, just dependent so on just living your life and not business in. Yo, mm. <laughs> just a do me, just a do me. A so. while ago I do a snack with the hair oh. and every, yo dog, we do. <laughs> I'm the panic with me here. Oh, one time, right. oh, one time, exactly. Confidence the freedom is everything. from just doing you, I cannot, I cannot begin to, I cannot begin to express. And that was Fact. what 2019 was for. It was pretty much my opportunity to just kind of step out, just to come out completely. So um, for 2020, I am with you on everything that you guys said. Absolutely. And for just living that much more fulsome. There's so much I want to see and experience this year. So mm-hmm. looking forward to it with everything. Everything. All right, so let me jump straight into our conversation. So I recently came across an article um, highlighting this whole business of male birth control, uh, predominantly just men now taking a pill. So I wanted to get some feedback um, from the guests today, how y'all feel about that. As I'm on the yeah. comfortable taking Male pill. Male birth control, mm-hmm. I, I don't know about the pill, because then we have to take it every day. And mm-hmm. I know I just really always mess up with the pill, but if they can give me like an injection, yeah. So you have no aversion to taking... Male to birth control? Mm-hmm. Outside, of, can, outside of a condom. As right. long as I can still feel like I'm coming. Mm-hmm. As long as I still get the feeling, mm-hmm. I'm good. I don't need nothing to come out. Okay. Just give me the feeling. Okay. So here is what it is that the pill is supposed to be doing. One aspect of it. In my teeny tiny bit of research, right? Um, it says what it's doing is actually lowering the sperm count, but not enough to be anything long term. I, I guess mm. as soon as you come out, what I know, we see a feeling. We see a feeling. <laughs> as soon as you come out of it, you're supposed to be good to go. So how how you feel about that? Um. See that, that one hit you. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I don't, I would never do anything like that at all. I'm, 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 I'm more of the, the nature of what I am a person. And I just don't believe that I need to tamper with that. I feel like if I don't want to have children, I just need to practice self-control. Like, it's that simple. Right. I don't understand why we, we've, we, we've reached the point where now I have to take a pill. I don't like take pill. Even if I'm sick right now, I'm not want to take a pill. Okay. I mean, you must take a pill. So just because I am afraid to impregnate another woman. No, 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 no. So here, here, no, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Before you, before you go any further, let me ask this million dollar question now. How many of you guys have actually asked a woman before you engage in sex if she's on any form of contraceptive? Okay. Uh huh. Really? All right. So this is in recent times. This is see, see, that's it's like no, last no, no. week. Sit. As, as okay, so in recent times, I'm saying when you just start, let's say, let me move it up then, in your early 20s and so on, did you all inquire no. when you're having a sexual encounter? Did you ever ask the woman, no. especially if you're about to hit it raw? No. Have you ever asked her if she on birth control? Not at that time. Not at that time. So it is in recent times, yeah. as, a, as a more mature man. 
Mm. So I conducted this very same, very same informal um, research. I went out and I asked some men on my radio show, and separate and apart from that, if they've ever asked any of the women that they're about to have sex with, if they're on birth control. And all of them, bar none, said no. In fact, everybody was staring at me like, we are talking. Well, see, I, I, never I, in life it never crossed the mind. I, One man said he did, and it was coming out of having had a child. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm when about it, to So say. this is it. He said, "Him get a woman that he never like pregnant." Mm -hmm. Went through the baby mother drama and decided, "Oh hell no, I'm not gonna do this again." So anytime I am about to mount somebody else, baby, where you there, pan? Right. What no, one? I want no more right now. Done. You so have I'm already. Like, sure. I have one child. I have mm -hmm. a daughter, and mm -hmm. I am. Good right there. In okay. Africa, I am a single father. I, mm -hmm. I, I look here. I don't want to look. I, right now, Richard Steele, I tried to push her out. Her Thank you. Her her <laughs> her right. I don't want to so 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 be stuck all over again. Baby, I'm all at night. Tired. I can't sleep. Look but here. you see, the thing is this what it said to me is. Men have left this whole business of birth control to the women. I've heard men complaining in counseling session how the woman trick him. She trick him and I can't she try to can him and breed and mess a hole on the bed. I don't understand. In the thing said she dep on the birth control. I said, okay, did you all have a conversation? No, but she's supposed to dep on it. And I mean still a whole lot. And I'm not talking mm -hmm. one session. I'm mm -hmm. not talking two. I have I have met with men who are passionate about to be the woman and make her know that she should have been handle her business. So it's it seems to me as though it is necessary for Uno Fade upon the need some upon exactly. the need some control. A woman can get pregnant once for the year. You all can impregnate dozens, hundreds yeah, that but, same one year. And that's that's good. I, I agree with that, you know. Yeah, but I, do, I agree that we're supposed to be under some sort of control, but oh. why it can't come from the self? Why can why do what okay, this is my, my this is my this is my issue. Mm -hmm. Right now, they're doing testing with, right. with the whole birth control thing for men, right? Right. You, you, you're, are you saying it's impossible that a batch could, 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 could hit the stores and that batch they have some defect and where the man, the man can't have children ever again and I just happen to be one of those men? You think a lawsuit going to fix <coughs> my problem when you tell me, say, the pills that I've no, been taking to not have children ever again? No, 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 no. no. Okay. All right, it depends on how you look at it. Because mm -hmm. for one, if I order them pill and it's that like I can't have children, where my life is ruined is because my penis not way work. You see how my penis work, we can't figure out everything. There's enough homeless people in the world who can have a child or two. And I will be laughing at the bank while you worrying about. I mean. I no, but I you know, hold on. Right. You I have one already, so. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Not only that, but to me, it's like a child is a child. And whether you were the person to have sex with this person to bring forth this child, that is not making you a father. So true, if you think true. It, you want to have a picnic or you want to be a, a father. father. Yeah. Right. There's two, two completely, two different, completely things. different things. Mm -hmm. facts, because facts. I can tell you that at the point of where <coughs> my daughter was probably three or four and um, we were filing to, to go abroad or whatever and we had to do a DNA test. Mm -hmm. I pretty much tell them so I don't want the results. You know. This is already mine. And not now to change this. And yeah. if they give me the results, the only difference is that she might be motherless because the mother was six feet under. But <laughs> right now, this is already my child, and there is no way I can now look at this child and say, after four or five no. years, yeah, I'm gonna pick me again. No, you're already mine. So that is yeah, my yeah. Okay. That is me, not father. Yeah. Right? You understand? Okay. So True. with that, yeah, man, if you want to be more No, what you see, no, you see, but that is the thing, you already have one, and that's the reason why you can speak so definitively. Yeah, I agree. But you clearly don't have any. Exactly. I, 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 can, I can see. Yeah, I guess man, from, I, a, from I a female standpoint, yes. I guess it would be nice to know that, you know, some of the pressure has been relieved somewhat of us, you know, mm -hmm. just taking the pills, and everything is always us. So it would be nice to know that, okay, the man can take a pill to help prevent certain things, but then again, we know that men don't like taking pills period so you can't really depend on them mm -hmm. to not make that happen because that just stressful within itself so i, I, I feel like <laughs> no but I, go, going to the, <laughs> no, my, 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 my hearing i talk about um men asking women about birth control and yes. all that 
and, and like, think about the question. Yeah, but when I person. when I ask a woman if she's taking birth control, it's not because I want her to say yes. You know, I am not. I, may I realize me? Okay, maybe I'm just different. Mm -hmm. I I had an experience when I was younger, um, about early twenties, mm -hmm. where I was having sex with my girlfriend and she was on birth control. Right. And and I pulled out mm -hmm. and I pulled out blood just start gushing out of her. Okay. And and it was it was traumatizing. So mm -hmm. so my my view of birth control is that. Every time you think about birth control, it's that me thing about. So I'm like wow. I don't want I don't even want you to take any birth control. What what what's wrong with condoms? Them stop work or something like I don't. I, why is it that no so way? You know, it's, it's very. I'm not gonna hear somebody talking no, like that. No, no, no. Exactly. No, no, no. Let me hear. No, on. I don't always have sex with a condom, but I feel like. But I feel like. But I feel like. Shut up. Look on the phone. <laughs> no, no, but just feel like I can control myself. The fact that I haven't had I haven't had a child since then, I'm sure say I must have some some sort of control over the situation. Wait, 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 hold on. In a this in a this year in a this time. What is your method? Are you doing the pull-ups? Yes, oh, I'm Jesus. the master. Really? Oh, I'm yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to. Oh, I'm, not going to I'm not going to. No, this, no. Him no. Him soon get kept. No, no, no. This is no. no. Get you don't get kept. So far, so great. No conversation. Why not? What now? Well, well, uh, okay. Well, if you're afraid, then we use a condom. We're covering ourselves, honey, because I don't take that pre-ejaculate can get a woman Look right now. Yes. So let's wear the condom. What is the problem? 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 Ask her again. 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 It's a me can't hear the specific coming in a doctor on here, but we can tell you that it's possible. Body just has to reach the opening of Pum Pum and Pum and Chamber. No, you don't believe this. You see, if you get pregnant, I'll freak up. The salt. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the seat. I saw the seat. She's pregnant of pre-com. She's supposed to be. Yeah, man. Like yeah, man. Jesus. I'm not saying it's something so, that happens every day. I don't show any birth control. 99.9. Not a hundred. Not a hundred. Have you ever heard you get a girl pregnant? Under control. Was under control. Yes, she got pregnant. It's either your very salt or your very breast. You know, choose all your one upon it. But here is what I'm saying. For me, she's not gonna launch it. I'm afraid. I fear. Right? Yeah, just feel like your mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, if me can, if me. Cannot lay down up underneath you comfortable because I know you are covered. We covered. You understand what I mean? I'm mm. sorry. We're no sex never have. No sex never have. We're not gonna further than four k. We are going with the penis. Pack it up, right <laughs> Pack it up. But thank you. So, Later. so is it that you're not comfortable no. with a condom? Listen, I am very comfortable with no, a condom. No, that's what she said. Just very comfortable. I am, into, I am into safe sex, and right. even if it is that me and you. Me and you are bona fide. Mm -hmm. Can't only so ever go wrong. I am on something, but you're going to tell me about withdrawal, honey. I'm sorry, what now? What? No. You know, so even when you're on 10 things, no. I still, I still pull it out, though. I, yeah. I have no, a no, pull no, out. Same way. No, no, yeah, man. No. No. I don't come anywhere you want me to come except in some. No, no, no. Thank and, you. And I agree. High five. High five. Yeah, man. Come me to be on your skin. What? Else. Anyway, but that aside, <laughs> sidebar. <laughs> But here is the here is the no, 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 I firmly believe in that. Come changes the pH balance of your vagina, okay? For for some women, mm. right? So come on your skin. Okay, that's not okay. that right. conversation, right? So. Yeah, man, it, it's, good e. mm -hmm. it's, it's good for you. It's good. It's good for you. Make a mask. I'm telling you, sit in front of fun and make it try. I'm that's telling you, that's, that's right. right. The wow. high five sister. Wow. There we have it, ladies. Now you, wow. know. Now you know. But the thing That's is, is that for me, again, I can only relax. I don't mind. I don't mind <coughs> pulling out. That's fine. But at least I'm on something. Mm -hmm. This this idea of oh, we just we just going hairy fairy. You know, this is the way nature intended it. And you're gonna pull out, and everything's gonna be. I would have I would have stressed until period come. Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't work for me. So for me, as I said. I like the idea of men having to take some kind of responsibility in this whole act. I think for too long it has been 
automatically assume that it's a woman's responsibility. I feel it's a foolishness. I feel it's like we're supposed are, to take Are we something. responsible for pulling out? Why, Sean? Why are you really? Are we, are we responsible? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pull out. Game strong, though. Yeah. No, no, well, clearly. Listen up. Clearly. If I try to know. Layla is now 10, and I have been firing, and <laughs> I was in a whole relationship, though. And it I'm never is. Yeah. I was firing. Yeah. And I already know. Don't be a dummy, come on her tummy. Pull it out. That's the tagline. Don't be a dummy. Yeah, don't be a dummy. Come on her tummy. No, how about just right taking know. something, guys, and watch her son actually arrive? Right. Well, so yeah, yeah, hey, that's a free use, I guess. I am not saying that person. I don't have a problem. You're not a person. I'm not against it. Just to show that right. it won't happen again. Just right. to know that one. Like, if I really don't want a child or whatever, but I don't want to deal with people, I'm yeah. having that. Yeah. You're not going to do that? No, I'm not. But you're over I'm going to trust Dr. Them with really. it. Mr. Uh, Mac, is this just that. because you don't have a child? So after you get, you have out your lot, you fight. I'm still not going to know. No. Much because, because it's much more, okay, so I I did the reading when when, you, when I heard about the topic as well. And right. I, <clears throat> I found out that not only do they have, um, not only do they have um, um, situations where people actually still got pregnant, but you have you have serious long term side effects, you know, hormone imbalance. I don't want no. But I mean, no, 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 no. that's how it is with everything, though. That's, that's, that's why I don't want to take them. That's why I don't, don't want to take. That's that's why I don't want to take any of them. Listen, anything that is wrong with you and all you need is a little rum. Coconut water. No, 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 no. Wait, no, no. Nature provides. Nature produces. Na nature have a cure for everything. Some coconut everything. water I eat. Most of the time I eat. Aloe vera. Drink some, drink some single Bible okay, and so you're I good. I agree with you with this whole idea of natural cures. Mm -hmm. You have a headache, you can hang off the side of it. Yeah, man. That's it. Just a blood vessel constriction. Yeah, man. Period, full stop. Mm -hmm. However, as it pertains to the serious business of birth control. <laughs> neem, neem tea. Drink some neem, you're not going to no, no, get no girl no. no, no, no. I know that it's, it's, it's one of those natural ways of, of, of controlling. However, you see, when it comes to the pregnancy, the, the pregnancy situation, I'm not particularly keen on the natural ways. Yeah, yeah I just, it's, forgive me. it's just a phobia. Just you're just afraid. Name. You have a child? Yes, yes. So, is it, and you just don't want no more? No, I, I have I, the missing mom all this time. Confident. So, no. Oh, so that is the trauma. So we're not, we're not trying to do this okay. again. Okay. We're not trying to do this again. So, for me, I think it's important. However, I like um what it is that Lyndon said, because I do believe, especially in the Jamaican setting, I'm trying to picture men taking a tablet every day. No. I'm not just gonna happen. see it happen. Birth. Not not gonna happen. The birth rate might Viagra rise. A hmm? man will get up and take Viagra every day. No, but exactly. No. <laughs> that's the real. No, because that's that matter to you. Yeah. Penis that works. I'm gonna take the Viagra. I'm gonna take the Cialis. I'm gonna take the Viagra. I'm gonna take the yeah, man. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I quarrel see. with people with, about that all the time. They'll come and they have their, you know, regular meds for their hypertension, diabetes, and the Viagra is there. And they say they want the Viagra. If the money's short, they say cut the other pill. Yeah, man. Give me enough for the Viagra. I say, all right, boss. Okay. I'm not going to argue with them because it's not No, nothing. no, because you see how that's more important. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But it's more, yeah. it's more important in terms of their performance. You notice what him said. Yep. Once in penis, they're they working good to go in the business. If it's burnt out, low. At this stage of life, having had one child, mm -hmm. it can get low, and I'm all right with it. Mm -hmm. But as long as the penis is working, mm -hmm. I think. I but think then I make the two are we happy. That I make me and she happy. Cause if she don't want to work, it's what we are worried about sperm count. You just want to know that it will work and. It and it will clear, no, no, clear no, up no, our no skin. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is the problem? No, 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 no problem for you. But I know lots of men are going to say to themselves, oh hell no, you still want the option. If it is that you decide, and I think it's part of the reason why men aren't particularly keen on this whole idea of vasectomy. Even after you, you have all your life, watch out. You see, this is my son, no? <laughs> Even after you have all your lot, you're still thinking, um, it feels final. Suppose I change my mind. Suppose yeah. I meet somebody else. Look at this. Suppose I meet somebody else. If you have five, pick them, brother. Serious to God. You know what my problem is, though? What? My biggest problem with that is just thinking that you're going to be taking a knife to anywhere that is close to my penis. No. Side effects. 
I know what you mean. That, uh, I, in that way, you don't sign the fence either because you're not cutting. Okay? <laughs> Suppose you don't cut a wrong line. The nerve, the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at the end of the day, Linda's concern <laughs> is the ability to have an erection. No, there you go. There you go. That's all. Not just the erection. That is our biggest fear to still. To sustain. sustain. That's exactly. Yeah, just to have a word. Yeah. So it's a word. The same thing is that it means four. Yeah. Fair enough. I think that's, that's, that's pretty much how a lot of Jamaican men think. Yeah. They want to know that the penis is going to work yeah. and so on. Heaven forbid. You wake up one morning and it's just not. You talk, what you talk about? Just. Life done, what are we living for? After oh that, God. Go, everything in my life changed. What about that? Well, I mean, we can explore <laughs> other options. No, exactly. You know, it's you can get working. gadgets involved. You can get gadgets. But that's still working, honey. You can get some gadgets. Some gadgets so I don't Look understand. Yes, gadgets. Listen. Exactly. What are gadgets saying? now working? You can, you can change the size every week for every week. No, but that's not me feeling oh, it. Oh, no, exactly. No. That is not me feeling it. What are gadgets I do for you? What are gadgets I do? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you know? All right. That is called the answer. I could have used like the male strap on, which is yeah. a lot of men use it. You are going to put your penis inside of a strap on. So when you work, you know, you don't even know if this feels good or not. You don't know, if, probably you don't know if it's nice, know. if it's gummy, if it's chummy, if it's no, if it's so, you don't know nothing because you're not feeling nothing. So you just let it work out yourself for nothing. No, 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 no. You would have gotten the foreplay on me. You would have gotten the foreplay. Me want the foreplay, the five <laughs> play, the six so, play. So all the, so all the foreplay are going to help me. Oh, what okay. is the foreplay if I can't get really, an erection? Really, and this is only if it is at the penis stop work. And we don't have to worry about that because that's not where our headspace is. That's not going to happen, you mean? There you are right. Because oh, uno clearly not, you no, no vasectomy for you. Definitely, Definitely no vasectomy. No vasectomy. Definitely vasectomy. no No, uh, no. Pill. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Crazy. So, all right. So we'll get we'll get you. The, the verdict is in. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to do this anymore. Mm -mm. Fair enough. Mm -mm. Fair enough. All right. So I can't have both of you on the show. And today we're going to be all over the place, right? I can't have both of you on the show and not talk about this other thing um, that I wanted to look at, right? And it's this whole business of how do you become a good lover? I find in my line of work that a lot of us tend to believe, um, we assume, is sex. You're just supposed to know how to do it. Why do you need to learn sex? We go, we go back to school, we go get certification for do this, we go learn how to do that, we get technical training, all kinds of this and that, but we never go back to school to learn sex. In fact, it's, what am I saying about going back to school? We never went to school to learn sex. And in our society where we don't talk about sex, how to learn it. And I was particularly keen because um, Denise said you and your romance levels. As a teenager, that's where I was first introduced to sex. I was an avid reader. And I don't remember, I, I, when I started high school, a friend of mine gave me one of those, <laughs> was it's a Mills and Mills and Boone. Mills and Boone. Yeah, and I, so. Mills and I probably went, read one Mills and Boone. After that, I went into the, the thicker books, the 800 page with Fabio on the front there. You remember Fabio? <laughs> when you put on back in here, brother, with him holy heap of hair, and him all a girl, and I look deep in her eyes and such. Him. Him. That is what, what, this is what I got, this is where I got my sex education. That and then afterwards I discovered is was it Penthouse? Is that name? One of them like a magazine mm -hmm. up there. Penthouse. How how did you Penthouse. guys learn about sex? You know what was it like for you? Can't yeah, remember. I was a foreign guy. I was just about oh, to say that. Like, no, no, no. I, 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 when the channel used to blurry and so yes, I used to be the person. Oh, was I, <laughs> I don't. As a matter of fact, I don't. I think. Your your story is more rare than his. I don't know anyone who was. No, no, I think for guys, cousin the subject. No, man, I'm talking about people. Like I see, like I I don't know a per. You're the first person I ever hear said they weren't um exposed to sex through porn. No, 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 I didn't say that. I said my first exposure was through the books. Oh, before oh, porn? Oh, honey, yes, and then I got into porn. Mm. Listen, you know what? Then my parents by satellite dish. It was more of porn. And oh, yeah, that, that's what it's for. One of them did it. Yeah. As some. So when the satellite ups are when you get the good shit. <laughs> and then remember, like, regular HBO didn't have them. Yeah, and then after, after that, that after, after that, that, that soft yeah, porn. Yeah, real yeah, sex, yeah, real yeah, sex yeah. was yeah. a little man. Yeah. Right, but if you're not sitting face, it's what's up. Yeah, you used to start. Watch that, and then 
<laughs> at one point, um, it was the E network. Because in the nights they used to show the parties. My Lord, my all of them no, they used to show the parties like in pizza. <laughs> and for me, that was the porn I could get hey. at the time. So hey. hey. you know what happened? Yeah, we'll be the up. I was living in Atlanta and I never forget my stepfather. My stepfather asked me. Wow. <laughs> Why you keep flushing the hand to his toilet? Wow. Yo. That was a good one. But okay, so that was your exposure. What was your Sean? Porn was porn was yours. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The yours. same experiences that you just It was, it was porn explained. for me. Porn plus I used to read um at the time X News normally have this section with hard erotic oh. story. Yeah man. Oh, yeah, there was this, the I don't remember the name called? of it. True confession. True confession. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that graphic, graphic enough for oh, you to no. get a little no. It True was very graphic. Very graphic. <laughs> very graphic. <laughs> Trust me. That was so graphic. I used to read, I oh. fed on that. No, man. It was graphic. graphic. I fed Whoa. on that. Yeah, but man. you see, it the thing very is, graphic. here is my thing with, with, with having gotten my introduction there um, with the romance novels. I came to anticipate that, all right, the sex was going to be mind boggling every encounter. You understand what I mean? Like from beginning, from the very first encounter. So when I thought of, okay, um, my first sexual encounter, I want it to be this way. I want this to happen, re, 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 this kind of a thing. But I felt when I heard my friends now, when the girlfriend then start to have the sex on me, I listen and the whole away. One girl says she has sex and the whole away lunch time. No, pile up right now. We are listening to the story. And it, it, it never sounded nothing. Like what I did read in the romance novel. Nothing. It sounded like torture, headache, and stress. Like, I mean, she was under so so God Almighty pain and discomfort. Right. And it was probably a month in, maybe like the 10th time. Sometimes it was a different lover before she was able to report that. Actually, it And Ooh. we were like, but we thought it was going to happen the first time from the penis end time and stroke a couple of times you were going to get there. Well, you know, orgasm is kind of different. Mm -hmm. you know, that takes some practice, some time, but I can't relate. Three or other encounter. My first encounter was fabulous. It was first encounter. First encounter. It's just like I imagined. I didn't have one right, of them round bomb. <coughs> Can I what the hell is that? No, I, mm -hmm. never, I have no regrets. So no, my first encounter I was can't like that. I was talking about my friend's first oh. encounter. Exactly <laughs> what no. it sounded like. No, I've never them taken got you my virginity. Okay. Oh, bro, Jana. Oh. Okay. Okay. Deliberate. This, this was deliberate, honest, or you it, just never? It's, it's just a turn off for me. It's a turn oh, off. Right, it's a turn off. Okay. Um, I remember. Because you have this, to be too patient. There was this. It's not and too that gentle. I, it's too not gentle. even that I have to there be too patient and too, too gentle. Concerned. I just feel like <coughs> sex is supposed to be pleasurable for both parties. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Me having sex with a virgin, I really don't see where this is going to be too much of any pleasure for me. Pain no, that's an unfair No, exactly it is. No, 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 this is, this is his, okay, so his team, right? Okay, okay. so all right, so hold on. <laughs> no, but you say in that same breath, you know, that's just like saying, all right, I cannot have sex with somebody who is not as experienced as I am. Suppose I like the whole bondage and No, he's talking about pain, he's talking about the painful experiences. He's talking about the actual, me yeah, painful experience of this into a this and yeah. the, him. Know, no one be the first one. No, you know that no, there was this girl. I really like this girl, and she used to always there parties and all that. And this was like when we were twenty something, and finally came down to where we were supposed Meet to have one. sex, mm -hmm. and she <coughs> never told me that she was a virgin. After the whole time, my date, my everything, she never told. And I remember the first night, like. I, I tried to put one finger in, and it was this thing, and it could not go in. And I was like, yo, I like, want oh, one. And she was like, yeah, but I'm a virgin. And I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to do this, though. Like, we're not going to. I, I said, wow, there's no really? way. No, I was straight up. There is <clears> no <throat> way. If this finger can't, can't go in, then you can't. There is you no can't cross way it. my penis is even going to. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do? We're just going to be here 
And I was like, no, no. Well, I don't know if I should say that was considerate. I think it was considerate. I, think, I, I, think right. so I get the impression that it was considerate because most one so of us are really coming across it. Yeah, man, yeah, man. We're going to figure it out. Uh, the KY yeah. jelly. No, but okay. So you've never, you've never had sex with a virgin, fine. But your, your first experience, your My sexual experience understanding. You said it, it came from, yeah, right. from so porn. Initially, it was porn, <laughs> but then. The, my first time was with a chick that was older than me, mm-hmm. and she was already, <laughs> yeah, she was already experienced. So well, she carried you down the, the path. Yeah, it was like the house, and I mean, we did the deed, and I remember getting up off the bed and dropping right on the floor. No need. No need. No yeah. need. I'm like, what is that? I mean, to be honest, I probably did last four point five seconds. <laughs> I'm not with well, like, my first time. I'm so, not well, like, it's at the so. time for you, what did you think about that? <coughs> what? The four points last in four points? I don't think he talked about that. The honest, the at the time, it was just was everything enough. for you. At the time, I just had sex. Exactly. She was a pretty hot girl. And she was older than me. I was a boss at the time. Even exactly. if it was 0. 0.5 seconds. <laughs> you were still a boss. boss. At that time. <laughs> in life. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly say my first time was the reason why I spent my teenage years as such a I saw myself so confidently because I was I used to part a lot of older guys right and um, I met a girl she was in sixth form I, was, I don't even want to tell you which grade me did you know but she was she was no man no man in high school we definitely in high school wow but but like we ha- at first I was nervous because Everybody else I talk about sex and I'm just like, yo, I, I really want to do this thing and everybody I talk about it and mm-hmm. and I did it and just like him, I, I, I didn't last long the first time but I had the energy to go again mm-hmm. and I and I went again and again and again and again and she ended up having an orgasm and that would, li- listen, me never even know a woman could have do that, you know. So when she did that, I freaked out and I remember what what got me what made, made my head swell was like she was convinced that this was not my first time i'm like yeah man that means i means i made a boss isn't it that means i made a boss and right. ever since then i just been we can't talk to you no man no man no man up and at them uh-uh. no okay uh-uh. so here here's what i want to know um in terms of becoming that much more better as a lover what guided you um for me i was always <laughs> curious um so I used to, I wasn't a book reader, but the internet was my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I would research every little thing. From the first time when I saw a squirting, I was like, yo, you know, where this come from? What is this? Mm-hmm. And things like that fascinated me. So mm-hmm. I would always read these things. Like, I remember the first time I bought a Kama Sutra was probably one of the first books that I actually bought. Wow. Mm. You get me? Because I was like, <coughs> man, I As this, a non-reader. I'm going out here. As a well it's equipped it's for the road. Mm. Right. You understand? And so I used to just read a lot. And I did a lot of practicals. I try it out. I will, I, I'll try it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I read it, I'll, I'll stick it in my head. Yo, all right. Then I'll, I'll try this. And the next time, I try it. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it never works. Sometimes I find out that the technique goes wrong or whatever. And so it's a trial and process error. And also communicating. Ask. Yeah, 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 ask, yeah, yeah, yeah. ask Did you guys, did you guys yeah. ever die? No. Ask Definitely. a woman what she wants. And not communicate better than a woman's body. Mm-hmm. Yep. You understand? Yep. You know, yep. you can touch this spot, I guess. Notice she do an extra flinch. Put that in your mind. Yep. That little spot. You know, if you know. See, mm-hmm. that's a very good point. Mm-hmm. One of the things in becoming a better lover, you have to be able to pay attention to a um your partner's body language Mm -hmm. not only that but you have to be so comfortable with them you know being vulnerable and just being comfortable in that space Mm -hmm. with them so you can discuss things and say you know i like when you do it this way i don't like when you do it that way but a lot of men they do like to take corrections or you know boosting the ego even before you go to that space of taking correction and stuff what I've discovered is this oftentimes the man don't even know that you are doing anything wrong because the woman is over there faking it. So when you're saying you're paying attention to her body and you know, okay, how responsive she is when you touch her, you know, when you stroke her this way or whatever else. There are lots and lots of women who have 
throw down with some Oscar worthy performance in a bedroom. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I mean? Like I will never look at the hair this morning. No, no. No, no, because no, talk to me if you can't relate. No, seriously, because a lot of them, I remember I interviewed teenagers just trying to find out, okay, what's happening with y'all sexually? Where are you getting your information from? Everybody, porn. That's it. Porn was the number one thing. This was the teacher or whatever else. And what the boy I get from it is that young man just like a kid. Yeah, I put up the rum. Yeah, a rum how we have to do out our hole and two shit. A beer that's like a go on now. And you is, your job is to come. You get what I mean? Because that's what porn shows. You keep hitting yeah. it until you get there. The woman job now is to flick into all kind of exotic positions yeah, now so you can come. So when I ask the girls, okay, what what is your response? You know, what are you taking from this porn or whatever else? Moan to make him come. So that's so they've been trained already True. that my job is to I'm going to moan mm -hmm. because when I moan I'm going to come, I'm going to lift up my butt cheek, I'm going to squeeze up my breast, I'm going I got to wait from me porn. Me I try to match <clears throat> what I am seeing and try to which is copy the, the, the acrobatics, which yes. is acrobatics exactly, but as I'm saying. So you go up on top of your head, you hang off for the side of the bed, you sleep on the chandelier the whole night. But did you orgasm? No. It was fake. You you, you follow what I mean? So mm. How, how, and I find that a lot of women, unless they had a lover who actually hit the right spot on them, they happened upon the orgasm. You, you get but what you I mean? For me, <clears throat> for me, the whole orgasm thing started out with masturbation. Mm -hmm. When I discovered I my body, I discovered my body, and right. I know that okay, when I put my fingers a certain place, when I move a certain way, I'm going to orgasm. Mm -hmm. It's through masturbation that I discovered that. So I know exactly what to tell a man to do, or how to do it, or where to put it, how to curve it, if I know I want to come. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's it's not gonna just happen like that. So for me, that discovery was through masturbation. So yours came through masturbation. Through masturbation. All right. Yes. But and I was about to say, <coughs> mm -hmm. with, with, with my page, you know, I run a lot of questions and answers right. and stuff like to get feedback. And okay, no, no. But what, what is your page? Okay. Oh, that's you? What is that? I don't toy as a Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> serve, bro. Big up your serve. Yeah, I'm funny. I'm funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In the flesh. I <laughs> but I mean, with my thing, I try to make it not just be about selling toys. You understand? I want it to be a whole experience where you can ask questions. Mm -hmm. um, if I don't know, I try to do the research. If it is that, you know, relationship or whatever. But a lot of times I've asked the question about orgasms. And you have women that are in the late 30s 40s that has never, never yeah. orgasm. absolutely yeah. and i'm like but what is the purpose of even having sex if you're not going to you understand and she's right. like yo we will fit from and then most the of the time happy. it will it more but that's what i'm saying they have an orgasm is from a toy and they'll come linda jesus christ is the devil come back wait what is this i'm like yo you've been missing out on this the whole all life all Be sexual life right? because i feel like going back to what we were talking about initially it it, it starts with with the mind you know you have to Mm -hmm. For me, I find that once I connect to the woman mentally, mm -hmm. Mahavar, like she's completely mm -hmm. comfortable letting go. I, the women I know who have never had an orgasm are always the women who still kind of, uh, them, are, them are hold back something. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. Like them don't want, they don't, they don't like the idea of feeling too vulnerable. Right. Right. You know? Right, right. Sometimes I can't really agree with you on that fully mm -hmm. because just a while ago, you put everything on the woman. No man, no man. Most no, wait, wait, no man. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. What I'm saying is, you have, brother. Jamaica is a place where, man, I think nobody's stubborn when it comes to sex and anything like Jamaican men. In terms of, for you to go to a, a, a Jamaican man as a woman and be like, yo, you know, say, this not work. Or, you know, say, boy, this the whole time that you thought you were eating, you're really chewing, or mm -hmm. they yeah. don't you're know it, it is man. not a we not are not the most approachable mm -hmm. set of people right. when it comes to sex when it is not in a in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, right. in a positive manner mm -hmm. understand i saw a lot of women 
they choose not to have the conversation or if they even try to have the conversation the shutdown that they get or the man getting upset or automatically you know enough away fool fool and I'll say oh so you go to road go see this or do mm-hmm. this and, and yeah, which yeah, man yeah, 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 yeah. you understand and so a lot of the time like, I tell a lot of people I say oh it's simple communication because what is funny is I will do these question and answers thing where when they send in the answers I post it anonymously Mm-hmm. And there are so many times when a couple will send in their, their answer and they want the exact same thing, but they never have a conversation between each other. Absolutely. Else. I'm like, yeah. yo, and I, I don't tell them because I, I try to keep you can't it anonymous. Right, right, right. But I'm like, look at this. Oh, no, there. And you out a road like this. And you out a road like this. Mm-hmm. And the two on one, the same exact thing. But the, the two on one, the road for the same thing. No, but then you see, this is, again, you're, you're, hitting, you're hitting the nail on the head. In the sense that I find, because we don't talk about sex. Exactly. Every, so it is hard for us to communicate. <coughs> Some people feel very awkward, especially women, communicating that these are the things that I'm desirous of. The hardest thing for a woman to do now is to confess to a man that she's not come, that she's been faking it all this time. Cause you, you know, you figure say you're, fake it so you, you're killing, you're, you're done killing me already. How am I gonna recover from that? So for a lot of them, okay, I cannot tell him that I have not been coming and I have not been coming or I have or I have been faking it for the last six months, the last year. How am I gonna tell him no? But you, you follow me? I said we should have that communication. But you know what, Kalim, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I must say that the men are really opening up. I think this year, yeah, over this past true. year, mm-hmm. I would say usually my sales are probably 95% women. Mm-hmm. And I can honestly say that this year it has you probably gone down, right? Right, mm-hmm. last year. It has probably gone down to sales from women are probably about 70%. Mm-hmm. So that means that 30% of sales are now coming from men awesome. buying toys for their women. And mm-hmm. A lot of them say, boy, I didn't know it because, because you know, I talk candidly. They be like, yo, brother, get a bullet. And, mm-hmm. and I literally, sometimes I walk with a bullet in my pocket and I will literally make a man feel, yo, I'm not getting thing away. I'm a big man. When you have sex with your woman, how much time she come? Man? To him, yo, she come three times. I said, now tell me, you afraid of this little thing? Mm-hmm. But Tony Tana said, feel that. Like. Now imagine you have sex with her and you put that on her and she comes six times. What kind of problem you have? Mm-hmm. And boy, boy, I never think, think about it so much. Right, right, right. So you have how much faith? Right, 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 right. You understand? Mm-hmm. And also, I tell women that it's how you introduce things to men. We are visual mm-hmm. creatures. Mm-hmm. Now, if I am not into the tie thing and you go buy a tie, it's when me come here and own the jar and buck it up. That is completely different from you buy a toy and you would send me a nice little video or a picture and say, Babes, mm-hmm. you know I got something for oh, us. Later, I can't right. wait for you to come home. Right. And when I come home, you all lie down on the bed in front and I say, Listen, sit there and don't move. I'm and and give me a little show and then you say, mm-hmm. Alright, babes, Your come time. down. What we free up kids this time, brother? No, it's all depends. It all depends. No, that I mean, yeah. for the bullet, most men are okay with that. Mm-hmm. When you come out now, if let's say he is a six inch, you right, and you have been yeah, desirous of an eight or a nine inch, and him come home and see a nice big dick in the drawer, mm-hmm. he might not feel that way. Yeah, he might he, not feel that way. And I mean, mm-hmm. you know, I think I'm so, very comfortable with myself, and if it took me, all my heart ever hurt me. Come here, say, oh, you just create a part of your mind. Yeah, for that. <laughs> 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 That, imagine, no. yo, some of them, some of them people are go wild, Kali. Some of these people are. No, are no, no. But if, if that is, if that is where her head space is, yes, that's where that's her fine, head space. But me, I said, no, you can't ever say my heart not for hurt me. You know what I mean? No, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say no. You was an average man. See, yeah. Mm. And she come with her eight inch. I didn't move you go up one draw and she got so good, full lap. Your men's most yeah, no yeah. matter how confident yeah. you are who you, your men's half it yeah. No, 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 I get that. Okay, and I understand that. Jesus, you are ridiculous. Oh, yeah. like, just absolutely ridiculous where that is coming from. But I get it. I get the logics behind it. However, what I, what I keep coming back to is this. If we, if we are failing to communicate, mm. because you're able to reach these guys, some of them, as you say, you, you had to... Um, um, it was more of a practical. Yeah. If you never show him and you had the opportunity to talk to him or whatever, else, you're not reaching. Right. So how how do you learn? Especially if the books are telling you, as a woman, 
mm -hmm. um, that you are supposed to come every time. I mean, a thousand orgasms every time you touch you. I mean, How I believe do you every time you have sex. No, 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 sweetheart, I, am, I agree. However, for the one out there now who cannot find a remote for tell him, well, all right, I have not had one yet, though. How are you cross it? How do you get to the space where, uh -huh. where you can actually have that conversation? Because for most of them, you know, here's what I hear you guys say, okay, trial and error to become a better lover, trial and error. Mm -hmm. Separate and apart from that, it is important to communicate. communicate. You want to, and you're communicating by watching, yeah? What, what was happening with your partner, this and that. You also communicate in terms of conversations afterwards. Mm -hmm. But there are some people who I remember, I had a couple that was doing some work with it. She's not trying to talk about it afterwards. When the man come to her and said, how was that feeling? Yeah, that's that that's what I'm saying. That comes back. That goes to back the, to, to what I said. She needs, she to, needs open to open up. This is, right. not, this is not a him. This, this is not his um this is not his issue at, the, at that point in time is mm -hmm. she need to open up if if she really care about this 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 guy because my, my my solution is to leave him right i feel like yeah i feel i feel like like my hair and answer like woman i, I fake it for six months how you do that how you fake months, how you yeah, you do that how you do that so clearly clearly she, to, clearly she doesn't want to clearly she doesn't want to walk away satisfied Oh, she may not give her money. Financially, family wise, all right. All right. Well, well. Then okay, so that means that she don't want to lose this person. That means that she don't want to lose a person. All right. Well. You just say that you would sacrifice the same. I mean, I'm just saying. No, I'm very. I'm gonna just walk away from something beautiful because he cannot give me an orgasm. No man, I'm not saying that. That's what I'm saying. No, man, no, I am agreeing with that, you know. I'm saying if if it's clear, it's clear says she won't be in this person's life or vice versa. Right. Mm -hmm. She need for now make the decision, all right. He's not going anywhere. I'm not walking away. So many need five this time. Exactly. So many how do you introduce it? Because he just said it. Sex is a learned behavior, but most of us never learn. Yes. And we assume you reach your age. You assume a lot of men assume that. Let them go for the page. Them go for the page. That's how you learn. Not <laughs> from before. So what? Well, I mean, if I don't, if talking is not going to help, then just start taking action. Yeah. Switch it up a bit. Yeah. She take control in other bedroom. Is, that is true too. One session. Just there. organize yeah. something one say, night. The whole role play. Is yeah. Also Choose a different venue. Yeah. Is Be a character tonight. Yeah. Show up. That's what man said. Take control. It yeah. must follow you. The, the conversation yeah. can happen. No. But it's just, it's just how you go about the conversation. Mm -hmm. You understand? And like I said, for, for, for most men, because of the pride and the ego thing, you know, something mm -hmm. easy in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, for the time it's something as simple as Babe, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Gauge him reaction mm -hmm. You know, if it's a case where Let's say you like Aina And you want to kind of bring this in And you don't know And you say, babe So what, you know, I see boy Somebody selling a plug So what is a plug? You know, one of those You know, if you must continue Or if you need yourself What do you mean? Say, eh, let me see it Come look on So babes <laughs> How are you doing this? Mm -hmm. That is a light for conversation. Friend. He's open to the conversation. When you're going, go with facts. And go with, you know what your man is and what your man like. You're selling him something. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. Mm -hmm. Sell it. Because at the end of the day, you can you can have lobster and somebody can come on a dirty plate. You don't want the lobster as much as it's lobster. Mm -hmm. But if so, if it is the presentation, presentation, right presentation is everything. All right, so I have a question now. I was um I was talking to a group of ladies about something completely different and I was telling them okay about the show right what it is that I'm going to be talking about so I said I'm going to be interviewing um a gentleman who sells sex toys and a young lady who is an author of romance novels first question them want to know now them always curious now them sex toys people you know, if them actually know what it is that they're doing and the same thing for the romance novels. If I actually if know what it, I'm it, doing. It, 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 your sex is good. Because here, as far as they're concerned, <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, here, here's the deal. Here is the deal. Um, one lady you now started to relate a situation with being with a guy who sells sex toys. And her first complaint was, look here now, I saw so that I met the sex toys. I might have experienced the man penis. She said, maybe a total of 10 times in the three months, so we did that do it. She said, the man come on with every tie under the sun. And she said, that's great. but. I want your penis though. Can you put your penis here? Right here. <laughs> 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 I 
them for a minute and bring the penis. <laughs> so the other thing too, with the romance novelist, how now, because you all seem to have such a, a vivid imagination. Mm -hmm. Are you guys able like to bring this thing into the into the actual in, 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 into the bedroom? Only... You want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should go first. <laughs> Denise is a first novelist. She <laughs> has um what's the latest book? No, you just released Sex, the latest. Let me see. Let me see. You have them with you, right? Okay, so that's the latest one. Show part awesome, awesome, sequel. awesome, awesome. Let me see, guys. It's a sequel. And then this one is the first one. Yo, all of them is here. And it's all about sex. All about sex. All about sex. All about sex. <laughs> and this is the first set. Yes. Tell me about this one though. Sex and thing. No, there's actually a storyline or something to get into, or there's just endless sex. No man, there's, there's a there's a storyline to it. With there's, all a story of them. there's a storyline. There's a storyline. Okay. It. All right. So now who going for me? No. Lyndon is going to go first. All right, my Sex here. toys. Mm. All right. <coughs> one. The you hear what Mister with the woman? I complain yeah, about it now. The thing about it is that mm -hmm. I am a pleaser. <clears throat> You're a who? A pleaser. All right. Um, I get my kicks off you getting your kicks. Mm -hmm. And so, um, with toys, I, a lot of people don't understand. It's just supposed to be an additive. All right. It's basically you make the whole cake and everything and you just feel like you want like an ice cream pan and mm. icing and whatever. That right. is how the toys drop in. If your whole game is dependent on toys, then you have a problem. Mm -hmm. And with me, because I'm a thinker, I like to do the whole mind thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, like, a lot of people don't know this. I have a little romantic side of me, but people don't really see. And right. then think that, so, I like to set, like, more want to put you in a whole state mm -hmm. before if it's not a just oh we're going we're go, we just have a fuck right if it's a case where i actually like like you and them thing that Boy. i try to create a whole vibe mm -hmm. you understand and so if it's a case where it can be simple things you know i mean like for me like <laughs> there's this one instance uh -huh. i did like this young lady mm -hmm. i know she liked the beach mm -hmm. and Four times was closed on a Monday, mm -hmm. and I called him to open the beach just mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. the whole beach, cook Jesus. for us, and all of that. Like this or no? If a woman did that for me, I sorry, I take no, it out. No, 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 People don't understand that that is not just the sex mm -hmm. part of it. Right. I think it's just the whole feeling and the Controlling fact that the, mind. the mm -hmm. fact that people feel so free around me, like you can come to me and say, "Linda, I want to have sex with ten man one time." I'm like, "Bits, oh, I'm gonna make this work for you now." Right. You have the ten man in line up. Oh, right. people feel free in talking to me. I'm open and right. the fact that I really don't care about people. People look at me and it's like, "Yo, oh, Linda, you're mad, you know." I'm like, yeah, but I like this mother. Yeah, you understand? Okay. Just to so, support so what that Linda is saying, the mind is a hell of a thing, you know. It is. Because I remember just sharing an encounter. Mm -hmm. um, I was dating somebody who said, nah, the oral sex, mm -hmm. none at all. Him not do them thing there. Right. Right, fine. One night he had a whole scene created. I mean, candlelight and the whole romantic setting going on at mm -hmm. home. And he pull up YouTube and pull up, you know, some of them massage music and whatever and give me a nice full body massage. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, more realize him start go down and tongue come out and he started licking the clit. Now, Colleen, it's nothing to run home about. You know, you've had better, you have the man them with slurp and swallow and Jesus. wet and goblin, and everything. From behind. He was doing mm -hmm. a basic. Flicky, flicky very basic tongue. flick oh, flick flick right i had an epileptic <laughs> orgasm <laughs> and in confused out of this world because him no say him not the shit right <laughs> <laughs> he no say him not the shit i've had better right but i don't know i don't know if it was the music the candle and the whole fort the and everything right. i think i came in yeah. less than a minute and with just the flick just flick. flicking and that may i try to show you the mind just is a hell of a mind. thing that is all right that is, that no, is. no 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 <laughs> so you so you you talked about your story so this is yours because i, I wanted to hear no in, in, in. <laughs> oh, i just think <laughs> 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 
It's warm in here. I have, yes, it is. It's warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I understand, you know, how powerful the mind is in, in terms of, you know, creating mm -hmm. that, that whole, mm -hmm. that whole experience for you. And if it is that as a lover, you're able to tap into that for your partner, then mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you can move mountains. Even if it is that you're not particularly well, skilled. I just remember something. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. The last time I came and did an Jesus. interview with you, <laughs> I brought a little remote control. Yes, yes you did. And you were in a completely different room from me. Right. Oh, the wireless. And oh. you were very much ready for a jump. Listen, I, listen Your man to supposed to call me that night and tell me thanks to you know, whoever that me. man is. I have, I have I one of those. I barely could have concentrate. And mommy said the man evil. <laughs> It's just to me that's basic simple so now mm -hmm. if it was my woman by the time it before as the show said cut you're ready for some mm -hmm. so that's it all right but my foreplay already do I'm you're going. already <laughs> uh, so there are multiple ways of getting there so yes what i'm hearing then is exploration Definitely, Definitely mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, explore. Yeah. You have to be open. You have to be have open. To be, uh, right. Communication. Communication. Uh, like say what you want, mm -hmm. I say what I want. If it is a case where as you have a, a level that I am not prepared to go to that level, well, let's figure out the compromise. How mm -hmm. are we going to compromise this? Mm -hmm. You understand? And it's like, as I said, for a lot of people now, from TV and them have all of these is some crazy stuff out there. All right. You understand? And they don't know how to bring it forth to their partner. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times the man will come and say, boy, I not show and try this one. You know, they pan that and I may say, you know, so I can get this for you. Mm -hmm. If I try with this, you won't you, you won't want to put it. anything in there, but she wants something in right. there. Try this and see. Mm -hmm. As a that is your compromise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that is what I'll in relationships and everything, once you can come to a compromise where both parties are satisfied and when I enjoy it, then life much easier. Much, much easier. And that is really from just communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to wrap, because it's time to wrap, I am hearing communication, communication, communication. It always sounds so cliche. <laughs> you know what I mean? People say it, People say it all the time. I mean, my goodness, why you all think that communication can solve all the problems, but it can. If it is that you're communicating honestly, because mm -hmm. sometimes we are communicating but we're not talking truth. Tactful mm -hmm. and tactful. Honesty there as you well. go. Tactful, tactful is a big honesty. one. You can't yes. tell the man said, why in, me not okay. come? Mm -mm, you can't. walk list, me not mm -hmm. one, me not. For me, take your time. Just feed me. Like. Feed you. Feed you. Well. Okay, yeah. And then he came back down to food. Oh yeah, we had that conversation. We had that conversation. As a woman now, you know, for tiling done with something. There you go. But you see the ham, ham, ham. We might talk about ham from him. Come here. Communication. Definitely want to be exploring. And by exploration, can we take the sex out of the bedroom? Jesus. Can we just take the sex out of the bedroom? Oh my God, there's so many other places outside of the bedroom to have sex. So let's, for 2020, for those of us who are still stuck in the bedroom, let's go outside though, on the lawn. You'd be surprised what will happen, you know, the idea someone <laughs> can be watching you. Exciting uh -huh. business. You want to try something new, you definitely want to employ some of the sex toys, right? Mm -hmm. um, that, what is that panty one? Tell the people on the remote um, control. Remote control, panty vibrator. The, you have to. Yes, um, you have to. Step up, step up your it's game. It's worth it, 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 it is awesome. For date night, me. you know what? You want to step up another something. You want to try it. And I'm talking about sex notice, right, in the first part of January because most of us save this conversation solely for February. Because only February people have sex, only February you're supposed to buy toys, on this, which is ridiculous. Let us, uh, one, of, one of the things that you need to promise yourself this year is that you're going to become a better lover and do what is necessary in order to facilitate that process. Um, for, for watching, I want to thank you as always, as always. Subscribe, please, like and share. Blessings, I want to thank you guys for participating in the conversation.